Hello and welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, nice to meet you. My name is Reya and today we are, as you saw from the title, reviewing the Nomad Cosmetics Whistler Snow Lodge palette, which look like this. And here are the swatches and close up. So this palette, we are doing this look today. I have done two more looks that you will see at the end of the video. And if you want to see how I did this look, then please keep on watching. Hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. And hit the notification bell so YouTube notifies you of every new upload. And let's go put some makeup on. Okay, let's begin with the makeup. So as you saw from the title and intro, I'm doing a review of the Nomad Cosmetics Whistler Snow Lodge palette. I know it's an older palette, but I just recently got it. Um, I had hard pressed um, shimmers in the uh, Verona palette and they offered me to send me a replacement for it and I said I don't need it because I got the shimmers to work so then they asked do I want something else and I said that that I've been eyeing the uh, Whistler Snow Lodge palette for quite a long time so that's what I took then so I'm gonna do like a cut greasy situation I'm gonna use this dark green this lighter green on the inner part of the crease and then this dark blue and the lighter blue in the outer part of the crease and then I'm going to use at least this shimmer uh, on the lid Prob maybe this one too but we'll see I'll put the shades in the screen again as I go so I'm going to start with the dark green called Buck in Bucking Great and I'm going to use this kind of very small play, uh, pencil brush from Morphe. I used a Beauty Bay eye primer today. So I've done two looks with this palette already. And yeah, oops. Now I'm filming with it. I'm kind of blending this a bit too. So that it's easier to blend with the lighter shade. Just to let you know, I'm not going to talk about it anymore, but because I want this to stay a happy place, but my, I have my spring spring depression because it's the uh, hardest part of the uh, year for me, so if there isn't as many videos as usually, it's because of that. Then I'm going to take Morphe M506 brush and the light green called Apress Ski. This green is just... I don't know what it is in it, but it just called my name straight away when I got the palette. And these greens were actually the first shades that I used in the first look because they just called my name. I think I got this a bit too far, so... Thank you. 
Have you guys seen the new Nomad palette? It looks so pretty and it has multigrams in it, like... Oh dear god. And the shades are just like something that I would love, but... Not at the moment. I I've been wanting uh, some kind of a kind of a bookshelf type type of thing in my background, so I can get my palettes there. And I found one that is perfect size for this part, uh, area, but it's a hundred and sixty nine euros. So I have to. Use a little less money for a while to get to be able to buy that. Then I'm take the dark blue called the Snowman. See what they did there. <laughs> Oh, and this brush was Beauty Bay Get Lippy. And now I'm gonna take a P. Louise 234 and the shade Snow Bunny, which is the lighter blue. That's my son coughing. It's Sunday morning when I'm filming this. I simply don't have time tomorrow because I have that meeting in the employment office. And in Tuesday is too late for me to, I can do it, but I rather not do it, that I film the day before I have to, well, I don't have to, but before I, day before I get the video out, so that's why I'm filming today, and Tuesday I basically should film the Friday, is it too old for Friday video already, so... There's that too, because otherwise it goes till to Thursday, because Wednesday is so short day for Leo in school. I feel like this dark blue and dark light blue uh, depth difference is a bit too big. Like the light blue is too light, basically to blend this darker blue, but no more uh, shades are nice in the way that you can you can blend pretty much by with themselves them, but I would like to have one shade in between because. As you can see, it's not easy to get them to blend. to see if I need to blend more when I've done the cut crease because it changes a lot so let's do the cut crease now and then we'll see where are we <laughs>
just move it in the base with finger <coughs> and then maybe I'll use we'll see I'm not sure <laughs> so I'm gonna take a uh, uh, chess up 234 looks smoky shader flat fluffy brush and I start with the shade up to snow good which is the like a deep berry kind of shade and with my brush of course and try to leave a little negative space between I think I'll use this all, all, all around because I think it's too much if I have the glitter liner and the negative in the negative space and two shimmers and two colored crease. I am going to clean the bottom edge, don't you worry. I don't know, this shade isn't what I thought it would be. I haven't swatched this yet. So... It's beautiful, but it's not quite what I thought it would be. This is from W7 Galaxy Glam Metal Flash Metallic Glitter Eyeliner and this is in the shade Why haven't I done it to this? Shooting Star So it's a holographic and I put it in the negative space between the match and the shimmer I took it to my hair do, 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 do. What do you I'm just thinking that does, does it need another layer of the glitter liner but I think it's good like that So let's clean some fall out And then I'm gonna finish the makeup and I'll come back with the finished look and the review part of the video. Okay, here is the finished look today uh, using the Nomad Cosmetics Whistler Snow Lodge palette. Um, let me see, I used Kiss Lashes, I'm not 100% what style they are. And then I used uh, Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink lipstick in the shade 160 mover just kind of dark brown shade i thought it was a little bit warm brown so i thought it would go with the red uh reddish uh lit shade then i have my layered necklace on and some sheen earrings and such but yeah this palette is beautiful palette the color story is stunning and uh, i'm pissed at myself that i didn't buy it myself earlier but I'm very happy to have it in my collection now. Uh, Nomad Cosmetics came out with the new palette. Uh, it's launching 
it has launched when you see this uh hopefully yesterday if i get this out for wednesday anyway but this palette it's beautiful um the only thing i feel like the red is a bit random shade in here uh i didn't use the matte red in any of my looks but otherwise it's really pretty i and I haven't used all the shades. I've used it three times now. But I really love that. I love this shade uh, for inner corner and brow bone. But today I used this shade in my inner corner and brow bone. And for the lower lash line, I just used the darker and lighter blue mattes. If you're wondering. But yeah, uh, I really like this palette. And if you like this color story, it's very nice palette. Um, so yeah, I... I think this came out last beginning of the last year, like 2022, but not 100% sure. But yeah, really nice palette. The mattes are beautiful. They blend nicely and easily. They build on top of each other. The shimmers are so pretty. Like, oh, it's like, I love this shade. But uh, like, you know me, I love bloom. But yeah. That's all today and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already and hit the notification bell so YouTube notifies you of every new upload and we will see you hopefully very soon. Bye!